One of the hardest things about being a reseller is knowing what to sell. So I'm showing you some of the stuff that I sold this past week so that you can kind of be on the lookout for it yourself when you're hitting up those thrift stores and garage sales. Check it out. This is a seven megapixel digital camera, which is not very much. You're not gonna be making big photos with this thing. This is a Canon PowerShot A570 IS. And truthfully, anything over five megapixels, if it's cheap enough at a garage sale, I'll pick them up. Pay $5 for this camera and it sold in a week for $44.50. Here's a bolo for you and kind of an unusual shoe. These are Mizuno Wave Prophecy 3s. And there's different versions of the Wave Prophecy, but they all have this weird bottom on them where you can actually see all the way through. I paid $6.50 for these. They're not in perfect condition and they still sold for 50 bucks. I actually feel like I could have got a little bit more if I'd have waited, but I've kind of been interested in moving stuff out. So $6.50 into $50, decided to take it. Love this sale. This is a Titleist 910D3 driver head. It's just a head, no shaft, grip, or anything, as you can probably tell. But I've got less than $2 into this thing. Got it from the Goodwill bins where everything's $1.89 a pound, and it certainly weighs less than a pound. So like I said, I paid less than $2 for it, and it sold in a couple of weeks for $45. So pretty good buy. So I paid $6 for these shoes from Salvation Army. They're made by a company called Aldo, which is a decent men's like dress shoe brand. And these are actually brand new. You can still see the price tag on the bottom down here for 150 bucks. Unfortunately, I didn't get that much for them. They're kind of an older style. They're suede monk strap shoes. I paid $6 for them and they sold for 50. And I've actually had them for quite some time. So I took an offer. New brand for me, this is Carver, and it's a FM AM synthesized tuner, and it's actually being sold four parts not working. It powers on, but one of these buttons doesn't work like it's supposed to, and it still sold for $57. If it was working, it would have sold for a lot more, but I've only paid $5 for it from a garage sale, took a chance, and it seems to have paid off at least a little bit. Would have been nice if it was working, but I'll take it. Sold some Doc Martens, and I actually didn't know that they were Doc Martens when I saw them at a yard sale. Happened to walk by them, looked down, and saw the logo on the inside. Asked how much they wanted for them. They only wanted $3, so I figured that was worth taking a shot. Took about a month to sell, and they sold for $55.50. So be on the lookout for Doc Martens that aren't boots. There's definitely some value there. So I'm at a garage sale and I see this clear bag full of old electronics sitting on the table and there were like a set of computer speakers in there, a bunch of old chargers, and then I saw this headset. It looked to be in good condition, so I paid the lady $3 for the bag, brought this home, listed it, and it sold for 60 bucks in a couple of days. This is a Blue Parrot VXI. It's basically a trucker's Bluetooth headset, so they can talk on their phone and drive at the same time. Like I said, $3 into 60, pretty good. Be on the lookout for these things. Anytime you see Magnavox and DVD recorder on one of these units, you probably want to go ahead and pick it up if it's in good condition. Paid $5 for this one from a thrift store and it sold for $72.50 in a couple of weeks. You also want to be on the lookout for the combo units with the VHS player built in. Those actually sell for considerably more. One of the coolest sales of the week and somehow I've lost the footage for it. I was at Goodwill and they had this duffel bag sitting there full of stuff, wanted $10 for it, had like a couple of wetsuits, some gloves, and a kiteboarding harness. Well, like I said, I paid $10 for everything, sold the gloves out of it for $21.50, so I'm in the profit, and I just sold the kiteboarding harness for $70. Bucks. Never sold a kiteboarding harness and didn't really even know what it was until I looked it up. Probably one of the neatest putters that I've ever sold. This is a wild turkey rare breed putter, and you can tell it's vintage because it's made in the USA. I only wanted $2 for it at a garage sale. I thought it was cool, so I grabbed it. 
Couldn't find any comps on eBay whatsoever. So I listed it pretty high. I listed it for $85. Finally got an offer after two months for 70. Decided to take it. I don't know a whole lot about baskets, but I'm from South Carolina and I go down to Charleston all the time and there's always these ladies beside the road and in the markets making these baskets. These are called sweetgrass baskets. They make them by hand, sell them down there, and they're pretty expensive. Found this one at a Goodwill though. I paid $3 for it and it sold for $28 on eBay. Found some Echoes, 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 echo, uh, not that, actually a pair of shoes. Pair of Echo Biomes. Echo's a really good brand to be on the lookout for, especially when it comes to golf shoes. The Echo golf shoes sell for pretty good money and they sell really quick. I paid $5.99 for this pair and they sold for $30 in about a month. Sold a pair of Keens and if you don't know, Keen is a good brand to be on the lookout for. I've never seen this style though. It's almost like it's paracord, but it's woven together to make a shoe. I guess it'd be like a river or a water shoe. Not real sure, but I paid $5.99 for them from Salvation Army. And they sold for $35 in a couple of months. Not a huge sale here, but definitely a quick sale. These sold within a week of me listing them. These are Mizuno Supersonic Volleyball Shoes. Paid $3 for them from the thrift store. Didn't look up comps when I bought them, but they were really clean. Figured I couldn't lose. And they actually sold for $25. So not a huge profit, but definitely a quick sale. College football season is almost here. So if you've got stuff laying around, it's time to get it listed. I sold two things today. This is a vintage Georgia Bulldogs t-shirt. Pretty cool shirt with like a double collar, double sleeve. Paid $1.54 at Goodwill and it sold for $19.95. This is a vintage Pitt Panthers jersey. I believe I paid $4.99 for it from Goodwill when my wife and I were down in Florida. And it sold for $26.50. I believe I told you guys last week about the polar like exercise and health monitors. It's not very new stuff, but it still sells. Paid $2 for this Polar H7 heart rate sensor. Got it from Salvation Army. It's new in the package and it sold in like two weeks for $44.50. You guys already know, I can't pass up a jersey when it's in good condition. This is a Jack Lambert throwback Pittsburgh Steelers jersey. Paid $4.75 for it from Goodwill and it sold for $34.50 on eBay. This is one of those sales that when I bought the item, I actually thought I would get more money for it. This was a Greenville Braves Stadium giveaway baseball bat. And the Greenville Braves are actually not around anymore. Now they're the Greenville Drive. So this is a, probably a vintage bat, definitely a stadium giveaway. Paid two dollars for it, but it only sold for thirty-five. I was thinking maybe fifty or sixty, but still a decent flip. Not big money, and they do take a while to sell. But I love finding these vintage golf polo shirts. They always have these crazy patterns on. Them. Paid three dollars for this one, and it sold for twenty. But it took a couple of months. Picked this one up in my last video. Paid a dollar fifty for it. It's the old course St Andrews, and it's actually new with tags. And I'm pretty sure it's from the actual course in St Andrews. Paid a dollar ninety nine for it from Goodwill, and it sold for twenty four fifty in about a week. You guys already know people will spend big money on golf stuff, especially clubs and bags, so they don't mind spending a little bit of money to protect them. That's why I always am on the lookout for golf club head covers. This is a cover for a Ping G two I crazy putter. Didn't pay anything for this. Got threw it in when I bought some clubs from him from a garage sale and it sold for $15 in about a week. I don't do a lot of DVDs, but when I see some weird ones, I'll typically go ahead and pick them up when they're really cheap. Paid a dollar for each of these. This is 18 Buddha hands, Larry Johnson, Shi Kong. Paid a dollar for it and it sold for $16.50. These Shi Kong DVDs sell really well for me. Also picked up these two at the same spot. It's the Stimma Spetsnaz, Spetsnaz, not real sure. It's a Russian military martial arts system. Paid a dollar for each of these and one sold for 15 and one sold for 20. So $2 into 35 for some DVDs, I'll take it. Actually going to the same buyer. Not a huge profit here, but I wanted to show it to you because I've never seen one before and it sold really quick. This is a Cleveland D wedge. I've never seen a D wedge before. I've seen P and A and G, but never a D. It's basically a 52 degree wedge. Paid a dollar for it at a garage sale and it sold in a day for 32.50. In the world of reselling, it's not always sunshine and roses, and this week was no different. It's been a slow week for me. Not only that, I got a return. Remember those roller skates I sold last week for $129? Yeah, the buyer claims they didn't fit. They sent them back, I had to refund. Sold this hat, sold it for 60 bucks, and literally as I'm packaging it, as I'm putting it in the box, cancellation request. So not always sunshine and roses, but we keep moving on. We'll see you next week.